Joining me is Zach Coplin. He's a student at Rice University. He's been leading the fight against creationism in Louisiana with the support of 78 Nobel laureate scientists. Uh, Zach, this is it's great to talk to you. I think the best place to start first is what are we talking about when we talk about creationist vouchers? Okay, um, so creation, and thanks for having me on. Um, thank you so much. But creationist vouchers are a school voucher program that provides public funding to these private schools. This money has been taken from our public schools and given to private schools, and these schools are teaching creationism. Some of them are bringing their students to the Creation Museum. My favorite school that I've highlighted is a school in Florida um, that calls evolution the way of the heathen. Um, they're talking about how they're teaching the earth is 6,000 years old. A school in my home state of Louisiana is uh, teaching that scientists are sinful men um, and that they don't believe the Earth is millions of years old and don't believe in evolution. And so I found 300 of these schools across the country, and I expect that there are hundreds or maybe even a thousand more of these schools and programs nationwide. So this is, this is essentially government tax funding, really, for teaching creationism in private schools. That, that's really what we have here. We're, it's, it only takes a couple of steps. We don't, have to dr we don't have to connect too many dots to see that that's what's going on here. Not at all. It's it's it, or not at all too many, with too many steps. Um, they are it's government funded private schools teaching creationism. So you talked about your home state of Louisiana. Louisiana is interesting because we also talked recently about a resolution that took place that um, that was that was in Louisiana, which actually said that we are we are not going to allow creationism to be taught. But remind me, that was just in one parish, right? I mean, Louisiana seems to have uh, they, they, they seem to have individual people that seem to be thinking critically. But more broadly, we've got a big education problem there. Mm -hmm. So that was actually specifically in reference to not the vouchers, but to our state's creationism law. Right now, two states, um, Louisiana and Tennessee, have creationism laws. Louisiana has passed in 2008, and I've been fighting it since 2010. And Tennessee's passed last spring, and it was modeled after Louisiana's. And so what this law does is it allows supplemental materials into science class to critique things like evolution and climate change, because they're potentially controversial and teachers might not know how to address them. That's the rationale behind this law and supposedly helps with critical thinking. Now, these theories, climate change and evolution, are not controversial to the scientists. All the scientific evidence is behind them. The overwhelming majority of the scientists uh, understand that these theories are fundamental to their fields of science and we should teach them. But they are controversial to Louisiana and now Tennessee politicians. And so what people can do now is without any accountability, without anyone knowing at all, a teacher can bring into their classroom a, a, te or a supplemental material that says evolution's not real or the earth is 6,000 years old or something, anything they want. And technically they could even bring in something that's like they could bring an alchemy text to their classroom because this <laughs> law is so broad or astrology. Like you could bring astrology into an astronomy class. Hey, so when when you went to school, when you were in high school, did you go to a place that taught creationism or what was the scene like for you? Luckily, I went to a public magnet school and all my teachers were absolutely great. Huh. Now, the thing that sparked me really getting into this um, was my senior year of high school, the summer before that, I'd always known about the law when it first passed, this creationism law, and I really couldn't believe my governor or Brown University biology major would actually sign it. I was wrong, um, and I was, I was furious about it, but it took me two years to realize I could really stand up in a meaningful way and that, I, and that this law was actually being used and it was actually dangerous, and that was when Livingston Parish, in the summer of 2010, their school board, and for anyone who doesn't really know, parishes are the equivalent of counties everywhere else in Louisiana. Um, their school board got together and discussed how they could use this law not just to allow a teacher to bring creationist supplemental materials in class, but to actually make an entire part of their science curriculum about creationism. They said the law was for, quote, critical thinking and creationism. Right. And one of their school board members said something about, like, we don't want litigation, but we need to take a stand for Jesus and risk litigation anyway. And they, they really talked a lot about putting creationism in the, as part of the curriculum. And that, that's the distinction I have to make. It's not just a teacher is using it or not. This is they try to make 
like basically remove evolution and make creationism of the it put creationism as a real part of the curriculum at every school in their district. Right. <laughs> so that was crazy to even see that happening. So you've got this list, and like you say in 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 the article that that I that I read that you wrote that this could potentially just be the tip of the iceberg. This is probably pretty widespread. But what really can be done, right? I mean, as it stands, there's nothing illegal about this. Yeah. So we're getting, we're back on the vouchers now, and th- my thought on how the vouchers get addressed first is we sort of stem the bleeding. So there are. Not 11 states in the District of Columbia with voucher programs in their states. Some of them have been put on, and one of them has been put on an injunction. One, it, that's Colorado. One's unconstitutional but continuing. That's my home state of Louisiana. So th- we, those are as they are. But other states, Texas, Tennessee, are trying to pass voucher programs. I think we need to stand up and make sure these programs don't pass. Other states, Indiana, Wisconsin, they've discussed expanding their voucher programs. We need to make sure this doesn't happen. And so that's the that's the beginning, and I think we start rolling back the existing programs. Or at but least, but how do how do you do it, right? I mean, in other words, what's the what needs to happen logistically for that for that to take place? Well, for, I'll I'll sort of couch it in what I think with Louisiana is right now. There's a constitutional provision in Louisiana that says um, private schools that are publicly approved and able to receive public money um, have to have curriculum at least equal to. Uh, <laughs> the that of public schools and now the curriculum in these private schools clearly when they're teaching creationism doesn't meet the public school the curriculum that they need to get public money right so i've been standing up and asking state officials in louisiana to um to take out these bad schools that don't meet their constitutional standards and also the own accountability standards in these programs um that these officials wrote themselves. And so I, I think we keep putting pressure on things like that, where these schools shouldn't be teaching creationism. They can't be, they're not allowed to be. And we, we bring it to light and we ask our public officials to remove these bad schools. Personally, I do not like these programs at all. And I think they need to be shut down because it is very hard. I've discovered 20 schools in Louisiana. And so this summer I was urging my officials to remove these 20 schools but I, I imagine there's 30, 40 more schools in this program that are teaching creationism and just haven't advertised on their website or told newspapers about it, which is where we really found the ones we did. Right. And then and then we wonder why the, the U.S. is falling so far behind in science and math and so on and so forth. It's, it's incredible. But you're doing great work. We've been speaking with Zach Coplin. He's a student at Rice University. And hey, where can people learn more about this? Do you have a website, Zach? I have a website. I have two websites. First is on the repeal creationism effort in Louisiana, and that's repealcreationism.com. And the second website is creationistvouchers.com. And on that website, we have a full database of every creationist voucher school in the country we've discovered. It's up to 311 now. And you can go on there and read what they're teaching, what we've highlighted them saying that we think is a dead giveaway and ridiculous. Um, or you can go, you can actually go see the highlights on, uh, the Melissa Harris Perry show on MSNBC on their website. We highlighted some of the most egregious schools for them and put it up online. Awesome. Zach, thanks so much. Thank you so much.